Hello, I'm Dr. Sandy Hunter, and I work in the EMS department in the Division of Public Safety on Wake Tech's East Campus. I'm happy to be able to share my thoughts on Wake Tech's problem-solving standards. This thoughtful process helps my paramedic and EMT students to learn to critically think and to engage in problem solving as they diagnose and treat patients in emergency and routine situations. We use it in every class session and it has really helped. Implementing a problem solving process is a best practice. Employers rank problem solving as a top skill they'd like to see improved among community college graduates and many students lack confidence in this area. A structured process helps students focus on solutions and build transferable skills they will use in the workplace. And common wide college language allows us to reinforce the process and improve confidence among student problem solvers. This model works for everything, from simple issues to complex challenges. It's simple and flexible enough to work across disciplines and sectors. It's research-based, and it's faculty-developed. Students can apply the Wake Tech problem-solving model to finding the right interview room, fixing a bulldozer's hydraulic system, to diagnosing a critically ill child suffering from a life-threatening fever in the middle of the night. Without further ado, let's spend some time learning about Wake Tech's problem-solving model and corresponding standards rubric. In this activity, you will match the academic terms in the problem-solving standards rubric with their definitions. Without reviewing it first, see how far you can get with what you already know. This will help build familiarity with the rubric's language, which is the foundation of the college-wide common language. The activity is located in PS100, Common Language Module, Part 1 folder. When you're done, you can come back to this video or review the slide with the answers to check your work. Here are the eight steps as identified in the Wake Tech Eagle Essentials Problem Solving Standards Rubric. Define, research, identify, Select, implement, evaluate, revise, and justify. You can pause the video or review the attached slides to check your work. While in this class, we are focusing on a common language we will use with the students on a day-to-day -day basis, it's important to be familiar with the academic standards they align with. For those of you taking the Problem Solving 200 standards, you will dig into this deeper and learn how to use the standards rubric to assess problem solving in your classrooms. In our next video, we will introduce you to our Wake Tech Solve It, Say It common language.